Dave, you're probably hearing these stories and remembering a 30 years younger version of yourself and yeah. remembering those times. I'm, I'm just curious, does being an entrepreneur get, get easier, get harder, stay the same? Are there just new challenges year after year over 35 years or what, what would you offer to them? I think the biggest thing is realizing the things you thought you knew but you really didn't know until you become an entrepreneur. I think the big is a couple things. One is the wear and tear on you, especially making payroll. You know, people ask me all the time, they go, man, what's your greatest building or project? I go, you know what? It's making payroll for 35 years, never missing it, never being late. Um, the second thing is the importance of being present in your private life. So often I would be at things, but I was thinking about a project. I was thinking about an issue. I was thinking about payroll. So I was physically present, yeah. mm -hmm. but I wasn't emotionally present. So I missed a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I challenge people to be present. And the third thing is taking, and the most important is taking care of your, your mental health. I had a, um, a childhood secret that I was keeping buried. And I speak very publicly about this. And I'm a survivor of childhood sexual abuse, and I, I hadn't told a soul. And my business was four years old. We had won all these awards. We're, I mean, we're booming. And my wife finds out someone close to her had been sexually abused, and I just blurted it out. It happened to me, and I thought I was okay. But then a couple of months, I started having panic attacks, had a complete nervous breakdown, but I couldn't tell a soul. I had to suffer in silence and keep trying to run a business. So I think one of the biggest things as an entrepreneur over these years, I realize our mental health and performance go hand in hand. Mm. And it's so important that we take care of our mental health and be honest about the things that, um, and truly be honest about anything that is impacting you and get it dealt with, whether therapy or whatever. <clears throat> to the point, in 2020, I finally went into cognitive behavioral therapy because I was just powering through. That's what most of us do. We just power through, yeah. power through. And when I did cognitive behavioral therapy, I finally got to the root of how that trauma impacted me to the fact uh, 11 months ago, I went and hiked Mount Kilimanjaro just to push myself to new limits. <laughs> and um, one thing I'll say, we're all built and created to be incredible. It's the things in our lives that stop us. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we can kind of navigate those things, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we are made to do some incredible stuff. Right. And I'm just getting started at 67. <laughs> so that's, that's how I look at it. <laughs>